got one. Oh, no. Okay, guys, I've been fishing for about 45 minutes. I started much farther downstream. Got one. It's a brook trout. Okay, there we go. Nice little uh, six inch brook trout. But yeah, I started much farther downstream in some pretty large beaver ponds. And I fished several of those, but there just weren't any fish in there. I didn't see any fish, didn't, didn't hook it into any. It was pretty barren down there. So I went upstream and uh, I've been fishing. Oh, got another one. Been fishing the, the more creek-like section. And then it just now opened up into a kind of a small beaver pond here, but that's the second brook trout right in a row. Awesome. Barely hooked. Very nice. About the same as the other one. I'm in Wyoming today. The rod I'm fishing is the Tenkara USA Roto with a nine foot line on it. And I'll put a picture of the fly on here. It's green with a gray dun hackle and I think an orange uh, thread head. Well, I've caught two fish out of here. Maybe there's a third one in this spot. Yeah, oh, nice take, nice fish. Bigger, oh, stay away from the branches, stay away from the roots. Bigger than the last two. There we go. Nice, yeah, it's like a seven or eight incher. Brook trout, see you buddy. Yeah, 45 minutes with no fish and then three fish in like four minutes. Pretty good, pretty good. Are there more in here in this one spot? I'm, I'm kind of shocked. I'm amazed I've been able to catch three fish in such rapid succession. Certainly not complaining though. Yes. Oh, that was fish number four. I guess five if you, if you count that other one that I hooked into. This is crazy. I've found where they've been hiding. Got another one out of here. Got him. So that, this is what, fourth fish landed in five minutes in this one spot? It's another brook trout. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's give this spot a rest. Let's move upstream, see if we can find another spot. The, the creek recently has been pretty hard to access. Lots of vegetation like this in front of the creek. So we'll see what the next spot is that we can actually uh, actually get to. Got one. That fish came from a few feet away and just nailed it. Brook trout number five. See ya, buddy. These are all pretty close in size. No, uh, no outliers on either end, really. But that's fine. These are nice little fish, pretty little fish. It's so weird how I was fishing for so long, didn't even see any fish. And then all of a sudden, bam, 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 bam. Fish after fish after fish after fish. Just gotta keep after it sometimes. This is interesting. Oh, I see. I saw a couple fish. But I scared. Yeah, scaring other fish in here now. Yeah, scared several in this section, unfortunately, somehow. I feel like I'm pretty well hidden, but doesn't matter. Oh, there we go. These are voracious fish. These brook trout, this is my, this might be one of the nicer ones so far. Oh my gosh. 
I think this is the biggest. Wow, this is awesome fishing. Very feisty fish. This is definitely the biggest one here so far. Nice, that's like a eight or nine incher. That was cool. Again, another semi-blind cast downstream. The fish was probably hiding in the undercut banks here. Just darted out and just slammed that fly. Oh, that was cool. There's just this tiny little corner over here. Oh man, this fish is, is around the log in here. There's this tiny little quiet, peaceful corner. There we go, got him untangled. Oh, only to get tangled in this other one. Okay, we gotta get in the creek here. Gotta net this fish. Got him. It's a quiet little corner. Again, the fish was in the undercut bank, saw the fly, and darted out. Nice. Awesome little creek. <laughs> so cool. How about these undercut banks over here? Anything? Yes! Oh, man. Okay, this is fun. This is fast and furious fishing. Unexpectedly so. We've got a couple of really nice looking beaver ponds here. Big three foot high dams. Let's see if there are any fish in here. Yeah, whoa! Yes! Yes, there are. <laughs> what a blow up. What an attack. Whoa. Got him. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Jeez. Yep. I did a few more casts in this center lane. Oh, a fish got off. I did a few more casts in this center, this kind of central pool. No interest, so I fished off to the left where I hadn't fished yet, and sure enough, as soon as the fly hit the water, we had a battle. Okay, let's try this second beaver pond here. Buckle up. Let's see if we can get a fish on the first cast or if it'll take a few. Whoa. That fish blew up like a foot to the left of the fly. That was weird. Okay, nothing on the first cast. There we go. Oh, fish came off. Second cast. Oh, and third cast were the ones that made it happen. Come on, and in the net. See you, buddy. Okay, let's fish to the right side. Yep, first cast on the, oh man. I'm gonna go over here to the far right side of this beaver. Oh, there's a beaver pond or a little, or a nice little pool right here that I didn't fish. I came up over on this side. I haven't fished over on the left. There we go. Let me see if I can get down here. He's still on. Okay. Whew. See ya, buddy. Oh. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> I thought at first. At first glance, that was a brown trout because I saw those bright red spots, but no, it was just a, a brook trout with nice red spots on it.
Oh, fish on. I was looking down at my footing and then I felt a tug. Nice. See you, buddy. Fish on. It's not every cast, it's not even every other cast, but it certainly feels like fast fishing, fast and furious. Oh, he came off. It is, unsurprisingly, another brook trout. See ya, buddy. I think I might have caught everything that's within my casting radius here. Let's do a few more casts, then we'll move farther up. Oh, was that something? Maybe not. Oh, yes. And I just saw, uh-oh, get out of the branches there. Just racking up the, racking up the numbers here. Doesn't get much better than this. Oh, that was definitely a fish. There we go, he came back for it. Nice brook trout. Nice, that's like a nine or 10 incher. I think that's the biggest one so far. Got one. I've lost count of how many fish I've caught from this one spot or, or from this this uh, this area here. <laughs> nice. I, I catch some fish over here, then I go back to over here and catch fish here, then I go back to kind of the middle, catch fish there, and I'm just kind of bouncing around these different directions and catching fish everywhere. Oh my gosh, it is just a feeding frenzy. Got him. Wow. Another one. Uh-oh, get out of the branches, out of the branches. Got him. See a nice seven or eight incher. Yet again. Same spot. You know the fishing is good when you just keep the net out and in your hand. See ya. Oh, I just saw, I just saw a fish jump over here. There, oh, I had him. Well, not really. I. I almost had him, sort of. Got one on the far side of that, that bush. I mean, there are hundreds of brook trout in here. If I'm catching this many, there are a ton I'm not catching.
Yet another one. Smallest, smallest one in a while. Yet another one. I haven't moved in 10 fish, something like that. See ya, buddy. Okay, I, uh, <laughs> I had just turned the camera off and then I, in that two second period, I hooked into another fish as my fly was just kind of resting in the water. You don't even have to try to catch fish out of this creek. Nice. And, and I mean, these aren't like super anemic fish. They're, they're decent, you know? I mean, they, like that one was pretty chunky. Lots of nutrients, lots of food in this creek, I guess. There we go. Okay, after this one, let's move. Let's move along the the pond here. Got him. My line is stuck in this tree. Oh, fly is out. Nice. That's a beautiful fish. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, well, I've lost count of how many fish I caught just in this one spot. I've been standing here for a while just landing fish after fish. It's kind of amazing how many fish are in here. Yeah, let's move up a little bit. Oh, that's me getting stuck. And I lost that fly. Okay, let's tie a new one on real quick. Okay, new fly on here. It's got a grizzly hackle and an olive body with a little bit of a of a colorful yarn body on there too. Let's see if the fish are interested in this one. Ooh, had one on, but I wasn't really paying attention. I was walking. There we go. Oh. I was paying attention for that one, but it didn't help. But this time, we got him. It is another brook trout. I can see that. See it from a mile away. Isn't this interesting water? This stained tobacco juice, tannin colored water. There we go. See ya, buddy. Okay, no luck here. Let's toss a few casts into this last beaver pond here and we'll be done. Can't quite tell how deep it is here. I don't know if it's like three inches deep or... Oh yeah, it is. It's pretty shallow. Let's cast a little bit farther back. Anything? Let's catch one more fish. Nothing. Let's move up, cast out to the center. I feel like the fishing has shut off as quickly as it turned on. What a strange, there we go. What a strange creek. It's like a little Jekyll and Hyde creek. All right, nice. I know I said that was the last one, but let's see if I can coax any more out of here. Let's get one more. I promise, just one, <laughs> one last fish. There we go. Nice. Whoa, didn't really mean to yank that guy out of the water, but here we are, okay. I think this will be the last one here, guys. 
See you, buddy. Well, that was insane. I fished for 40 or 45 minutes, didn't catch a single thing. I didn't even see any fish in the water before that. And then all of a sudden for the next hour or about hour and five minutes, I caught 26 fish. Just unbelievable, really fun fishing. Again, fast and furious and a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next one.